ChatGPT just received its biggest update yet. It will now be able to browse the web, to work with images, to create advanced charts and graphs, and it will even be able to edit videos. We will be able to do all of this right from the ChatGPT website, and I'm barely scratching the surface. My name is David Andre, and this is why plugins will change the world. So what even are plugins? To put it simply, plugins are to ChatGPT what steroids are to bodybuilders. Plugins will allow you to supercharge ChatGPT and make it 10 times more useful than it already is. Don't worry, we'll get to specific examples in a bit. The reason why plugins are such a game changer is because they will allow ChatGPT to do almost anything. To understand how plugins actually work, you can think of them as the apps on your smartphone. When the iPhone was released in 2007, it was a revolutionary product, but it wasn't that useful. Until the release of the App Store a year later. This is the exact same scenario. ChatGPT is already really good, but plugins plugins. Plugins will make it insane. Over the upcoming weeks, millions of people will start learning about this. So if you want to be ahead of everybody, make sure to watch till the end. There are two main plugins you have to know about, and both of them were created by OpenAI themselves. Let's start with Code Interpreter, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Most people will just brush this plugin aside, thinking, oh, I'm not a coder, this is not for me. But don't let the intimidating name fool you. The Code Interpreter plugin is very simple to use. It can basically do anything that a data analyst can do. Yeah, a lot of jobs are gonna be lost. You can use it to analyze complex spreadsheets, create tables out of them, tell it to make custom charts and graphs. The amount of use cases is nearly endless. Today, ChatGPT can write code. We all know that. But with this plugin, you'll also be able to execute that code directly inside of ChatGPT. Not only will this save a lot of time, it's also super beginner friendly because you don't have to install any programs to run that code. All of this can be done straight from the ChatGPT website. This means that literally anyone can now become a programmer. You don't even have to know a single programming language. But there's more. This plugin can also work with images, changing their size, adjusting their color, making the background transparent, you name it. However, the craziest part is that it can also work with videos. All you have to do is say what you want and the code interpreter plugin will edit the videos for you. People don't realize how significant this is. This one single plugin is basically a small version of Adobe. Which is wild since this isn't even the best plugin. Like why would you use Photoshop when ChatGPT can do all these simple tasks for you automatically? If I was Adobe, I would be panicking right now. What's amazing is that OpenAI has like 300 employees while Adobe has almost 30k. Meaning the company with 100 times less employees might actually end up putting the bigger company out of business. Or at the very least, significantly impact their revenues. The second plugin directly from OpenAI is the browsing plugin. And this finally allows ChatGPT to access the internet. No longer will there be that annoying message of, oh, my cutoff date is in September of 2021. Yeah, I hate that message. But instead of using Google, the browsing plugin will use Bing. I guess OpenAI didn't really have a choice in this matter, as Microsoft owns 49% of the company. You can also see what ChatGPT is thinking. It's clearly describing each step and the action it is taking. And on top of that, it will give you sources, so you can triple check everything if you want to. And those aren't the same kind of sources we get now, when ChatGPT just gives you a fake link that doesn't work. No, these will be actual credible sources that you can click to and check for yourself. There are many reasons why this is such a massive change. It can automate most of repetitive and boring tasks. It can do complicated research on its own. Like, you will now be able to do so much stuff directly from chatgpt.com. This will also make all of these Chrome extensions completely obsolete. Because you can now do basically everything only using OpenAI's own plugins. So why is OpenAI doing this? Well, they have no choice really. Because Google's BART can already access the internet. So they kinda have to add this feature if they want to stay competitive. Also, it allows them to benefit from the work of other people. If you think about it, 99% of the apps on Google Play and on the App Store are not developed by Google and Apple. Yet every single new app helps these two companies grow even bigger. Meaning this might be the product that makes OpenAI into a trillion dollar company. We are literally witnessing the inflection point in human history right now. Man, if you don't think that's absolutely amazing, something is wrong with you. As I promised, let's look at other 
other interesting plugins. First off, there is Wolfram, and this is basically a math genius. You can use it to do complex functions, derivations, advanced mathematics, literally anything math and physics related, which ChatGPT kinda sucks at. Instacart allows you to completely automate your shopping, so you no longer have to go to the mall and choose all the fruits and vegetables you wanna buy. No, you can just ask ChatGPT, and with the Instacart plugin, you'll get a shopping list, and you can just enter your address, and it will arrive at your doorstep with literally two minutes of effort. But you can see that ChatGPT is selecting all these different tools without me having to tell it explicitly which ones to use in any situation. And this, I think, shows a new way of thinking about the user interface. But let's take a look at the Instacart shopping list while we're at it. And you can see we sent a list of ingredients to Instacart. Here's, here's everything you need. Then there is the Retrieval plugin. This is another plugin from OpenAI. And believe it or not, this plugin is completely open source. I guess OpenAI started to take the open from its name seriously. This Retrieval plugin can do a lot of things, but to simplify it for you, it can basically allow you to put in your own data, your own sheets, your own documents, and work with them directly inside of ChatGPT, which is absolutely game-breaking. Then there is the Open Table plugin, which for US and UK, I think, maybe in Canada too, allows you to book any restaurant by just saying you know I need a reservation for a steakhouse in New York and it will do that for you automatically insane time safe if you ask me but perhaps the most important plugin of all is the Zapier plugin now I don't know why but this is also maybe the most overlooked plugin which is kind of ridiculous since Zapier allows you to connect to over 5,000 different apps meaning essentially this one plugin is in a way 5,000 plugins at once like it can connect to your to-do list to your Google Drive to your Slack messages, to your Gmail, 5,000 apps, all accessible inside of ChatGPT through just one plugin. There's also the Speak plugin, which allows you to translate your voice into all kinds of languages. The Expedia plugin allows you to make travel plans and book airplane tickets super easily. The Fiscal Note plugin gives you access to complex financial data, companies' profit statements, stuff like that. Okay, so you must be thinking right now, David, how do I get access to these plugins? Well, the first step is to become a Plus user, meaning you have to spend 20 bucks to buy the premium version of ChatGPT. And if you ask me, that's super worth it. But not everyone will get access at the same time. Heck, even I don't have access yet. But as you can see in this OpenAI tweet, all paying users will have access to plugins in the next week. And as far as non-paying users go, Greg Brockman, the CTO of OpenAI, said in his most recent TED talk that in the upcoming months, everybody will have access to plugins. And by the way, this is coming to all ChatGPT users over upcoming months. So if you don't want to pay, you don't have to. If you want me to make more videos like this, then please subscribe. It takes two seconds. We started OpenAI seven years ago because we felt like something really interesting was happening in AI. We wanted to help steer it in a positive direction. It's honestly just really amazing to see how far this whole field has come since then.